The short fader path. The short fader path can be changed between mic line and tape inputs using the flip switch. The backlit indicator will show whether the mic line or tape input is selected to the short fader path. Only one will be illuminated and it can be changed using the flip switch. The SF pan control enables the short fader to be panned across odd and even groups. The mix button allows the short fader signal to be routed to the stereo mix bus. This allows the short fader to be used as an additional input during mixdown. Source selects the post fade long fader signal as the input to the short fader signal path overriding the mic or tape selection from the flip switch. It is good practice to cut unused channels to avoid noise in a mix. Solo allows the short fader signal to be heard on the monitors and viewed on the master meters.